China is a huge nation、uh, over the last few decades. It has been open to the world economy, and it is engaged, and it has, you know, sold into European and American consumers, and that's fueled large amounts of funding for the Chinese state. And the Chinese state, with that new scale and power, obviously is exploring how it wants to behave. But it is also a rival, a contender. A competitor,、uh, and also a, Britain's a, third largest trading and, partner, and a, exactly, and a challenger to our values. Right? It doesn't believe in democracy. It's a communist state. We have always believed in democracy and individual freedoms. So there's a, definitely a challenge to our values, and and which model works. Now we would say over decades that we don't believe in communism. We don't believe in、uh, destroying the the sort of agency of an individual. We believe that the agency of the individual is very important. It's what the people of Ukraine are choosing right now. Over a Russia that seeks to be totalitarian. So, so I think I think first of all, you know, yes, we we can't deny the fact the rise of China, the rise of the Chinese economy is a, is 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 a is growing and is a reality. But we also have to recognise that we we set out what we think is our store, what we think is right, and what our parameters are. We've called out China on, like the Uyghur, where we have felt human rights、uh, are are compromised or indeed attacked in Hong Kong. Uh, we gave huge amount of sanctuary to Hong Kong Chinese、yes. who were being、uh, persecuted or, or dealt with, and we do stand our ground on those issues. And we also, but I also think it's really important in the future to signal to China what is acceptable, unacceptable, you know, and why we believe in the rules-based system, why we believe in international law, freedom of navigation, incredibly important, not just important here, not not just important in the backyard of China. Yes. It's important in the Malacca Straits. It's important in the high north to the Arctic. It's important in the Atlantic because all consumers in the world rely on that freedom of navigation. And if people don't think it matters anywhere other than the Taiwan Strait, they need to think again because it matters in how you and I get our goods. And we've just had an example of that: COVID. Minister,、uh, let's bring it back to Hong Kong, if we may. There is a sense and a perception that China has virtually annexed. Hong Kong through policy like、uh, the national security law. Do you fear that Taiwan is next? Well, I think I think China made a mistake in how it dealt with the democracy movements in Hong Kong. You know, the, the, there was definitely signs that the you know one state two systems was a direction of travel that both the UK and China had understood at the handover time, and that Taiwan was interested in. It was very important to Taiwan that those two systems were maintained.、Um, And I think what what people in Taiwan will be looking at is what they've seen in Hong Kong, and it actually it will, it will harden their view that this is this is a direction of travel that is against their interests. And I think that is that is you know I would say I think it was a mistake, a strong mistake for China to deal with Hong Kong that way, and 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 potentially driven to where we are at the moment with with this standoff. And I think that is not in a, in anyone's interest.